You gotta understand, gang. A little strange here, but it's three o'clock in the morning. It's Wednesday morning, believe it or not. I haven't been able to get any sleep. Uh, tell you why in a moment. Uh, thing I'll do before I get to the business at hand. Everybody saw the Redskins game Sunday. God, it stunk. No emotion whatsoever. I mean, if you were a Redskins fan watching this, you felt no emotion. I mean, if Rex Grossman is the future a quarterback for the Redskins, no. Uh-uh. And anybody who and anybody who stood there and did text messaging for the post game show there on CSM Washington, if you text the, that uh, the, the post game show and you basically had a hard on for Rex Grossman, you're not a real Redskins fan. I'm sorry, you, you're not a real fan in my book, and I'll tell you why. Because they know Rex Grossman's history. They knew Steve Spurrier fucked him up when he was in Florida. You know, when he was still playing in Florida at the University of. Uh, basically, Rex Grossman was the last major fuck up that Steve Spurrier did when he was coaching in Florida. You know, it's that's common knowledge, gang. And it just they never proved it in Chicago. Never proved it anywhere else. The game Sunday, as I'm saying, was this. This does not vindicate. That never mind. You know, losing the game was like 33 to 30. It shouldn't even have been like that. This should have been a blowout by Dallas. I mean, you're almost embarrassed at that point. Lo and behold, they decide. Okay, Rex Grossman gets to start the last two games of the season. You're virtually guaranteeing this is 5-11. I'm sorry. That's how that goes. You know, what else is new? A uh, little off here tonight because uh, I came back from the Caps game. They were playing New Jersey. And uh, beat Marty Rodor like a rented mule. 5-1 to was your final. This thing was over really in the first period. <laughs> oh my god, this was over from the beginning. It's so great now that I got the chance to see uh, Andrew Gordon come up from Hershey. Well, I didn't get the chance to see him at Hershey, but he came up and he got his first NHL goal. It's great to see it, so I can say you saw the guy do it. He got the second star tonight. Really should have been the first star. That's my view. But uh, what else is due? So now, of course, what this means as far as the Caps are concerned, A, it's a two-game win streak, and B, it sets it up for Thursday night, or tomorrow night, because it's now early Wednesday morning. It sets it up for Thursday night, where they play the fucking Penguins. And I said, I would have loved to have been there Thursday night. I would give my left nut. And I was like, who do I, who do I kill or fuck to try to get tickets for the Winter Classic? Uh, that'll never happen. I understand now there's like 10 busloads of Caps fans that are going to make their way to Pittsburgh. But this is what I wanted to do here. I bought this at the game. I bought this. Take a good look, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, here I am. Take a good look. You'll uh, take a good look here, gang. Old school. That is old school capitals. I wish I could. Ha I wish I had the jersey. But the jersey cost like 225 bucks because I asked the lady. I said that's out of my price range. Believe me, it's out of my price range. But this is so good. I love this. This this is this is where I don't care if it's fucking twenty below outside my apartment on come New Year's Day. I don't care if it's fucking you know, it, it could be twenty below, the wind below, uh, the wind chill could be like minus seventy. Guess what? 
I'm wearing this. Even though I might be indoors, I'm wearing this fucker come New Year's Day. So much fun. And I finally broke down and got it. I said, that, well, let's see, that cost me, well, let's see, that cost me 30 Yeah, the t-shirt was 30 I had a hat, cost 25 but it didn't matter. So now I am set for watching this Thursday night and then watch the Winter Classic there, New Year's Day. I'm ready. Oh, look. Those of you who are a little new to, new, a little new to YouTube, and you wonder what I'm, what I'm delving into. Uh, as I've said before, this is the second permutation of my YouTube channel. The original one was hacked, destroyed, call it what you want, by a group of asshole Penguins fans. Noteworthy was a man named uh, Kirk Fletcher. Kirk Hamilton Fletcher was his name. He went under a lot of different names. I'm uh, fan nation, ESPN.com. He's under a lot of different names. This guy has a bug of his fucking ass about me. All types of slander. I, I called him out. I did, a, I did a video on here where I basically called his ass out and exposed him for what he is, but I won't uh, bore all of you with it. Suffice to say that the original channel I had here is done. I had to go do this uh, with a little help really from YouTube. They kind of protected me, kind of, but you never know. Oh, did I neglect to mention I had this? <laughs> I can't help it. It's so much fun. But the uh, but again for the new bees on here. We have a new hatred now for the Penguins. Pittsburgh is a lovely city. Please don't misunderstand me. Uh, the city of Pittsburgh is a wonderful place. I've been there, you know, to take it, you know, taking the Nationals when they play the Pirates at PNC Park. I haven't done it the last two years because uh, I go with my brother. And, you know, the economy being fucked up, uh, we have not gone and done our annual visit PNC Park. I'd love to go back someday. It's a wonderful city. Please, if you're living in the Pittsburgh area or anywhere in western Pennsylvania, please, I'm not slandering the city. You know, I have I have sympathy for Pirates fans. I've got no problem with Steelers fans. Hey, i got no problem with that. It's just you get to some Penguins fans across the internet and to a lesser extent YouTube that, well, they... Just want to behave like assholes. It happens. You know, I'm not going to stand here and clean the moral high ground because, you know, let's face it, there are some Caps fans, and I'm not naming myself here, but there are some Caps fans who go a little overboard. <laughs> we, we were having to talk, we were coming with my brother and me, we were having to talk coming back. And we, uh, we said we both said we would have loved to be there, you know, Thursday night for the game. I said I wanted. I said I wanted. I wonder what the over under would be for fights in the stands, because <laughs> you know it's going to happen. Believe me, you know it's going to happen. So that's it. Um, a few other notes here. We'll do sports notes, I guess. Um, no Gilbert Arenas. So now my, my Gil jerseys are now collector's items. They were collector's items anyway because he changed his number from zero to nine. So they were already collector's items. Now uh, they're more. <laughs> you know, he ship his ass off to Orlando. That's it. Okay, Orlando, that's your fucking problem now. You deal with it. Uh, Uh, let's see, final note here. Oh, let's see, final sports note I can do here. The Nationals are, at least they're making the effort. You know, uh, signing Rick and Keel the other night, uh, the other day. At least you're loading up with the outfield. You know, I ain't doing something as far as pitching is concerned. 
I still would like to see a first baseman. They keep saying either Derek Lee or Adam LaRoche. Listen, either one I'm happy with. Just get somebody, please. You know, don't put me through this. <laughs> but um, at least you can say on paper, it may seem as though the Nationals could finish third in the NL East uh, for the 2011 season. Could. Of course, this is December. We have to wait until spring training. <laughs> That's neither here nor there. So, with that in mind, uh, I will now say adios for the night. Enjoy. Enjoy this. <laughs> die, Penguins fans. Die. Okay. That's all I'm going to say on that. So it is I, your friendly neighborhood. Uh, so I'm a tired sports nut. Saying, <laughs> I hate when the damn picture freezes. I hate this. It's three o'clock in the morning, people. I'm getting a little pissed. <laughs> it happens. Oh, fuck you. Come on now. I want to end this damn video. <laughs> well, let me end it. You motherfucker. Oh, God, what a country. You know, what the fuck does that tell you? When it's 3 o'clock in the morning, you want to get to bed, you want to do something, and your goddamn picture freezes. All right, folks, I am done, hopefully. Thank you. All right, I am done. We will see you all. Uh, I don't know when. I don't know if I'll make a video. If I don't do a video between now and you know, Christmas Day. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Kringle, whatever the case may be. And always remember, rock this, ladies and gentlemen. So much fun, but please, pay respect. That's all I gotta say. So, good night, people, and I'm out of here. <laughs>